Hello Cancer, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is a timeless reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be published for the first week in September. I want to thank you for visiting. I hope everyone's doing well. Let's take a look and see what this lovely energy is for you. Hopefully lovely. <laughs> Guess we'll crack these cards open and find out. Okay, the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Cancer, somebody wants to talk to you. Looks like they might have been holding back previously, but they have some fire in their belly. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the mutual energy is between you and your person in the recent past. Four of Wands. Nice. Aries energy. Stability, possible marriage, living together. Oof. Currently, look at that. Up in your feels. Cancer, there you are in your reading. You both are loving each other. Look at that from hand to hand, all that beautiful, beautiful watery energy. How does your person view the relationship? Oh, magical. Oh, you have so much chemistry. The two of you are magic together, Cancer. That is Virgo and Gemini energy. So there's something about the way you communicate and there's an earthiness to this sort of connection. Sexy, baby. <laughs> Let's see what we have for how they view you. There you are, Cancer, once again in your, in your reading. The Two of Cups, they view you as a perfect partner, their soulmate, their significant other, the person they love, the person they want to talk to at the end of the day. What is in their heart space? Ten of Wands. Ooh, okay. So, you know, I'm seeing the Ten of Wands is moving back, moving away from a heavy burden. So it also is what happens before the Ace of Wands comes in or the Aces, right? You have to let something go. So this is her baggage. I always think this is such a great card because it, it's like, I'm going to let go of my baggage. I'm going to start giving up everything that doesn't really suit me. And I'm just going to take with me into the future what I really need and what I can count on. How do they view the situation moving forward? Ten of Swords. Ouch. Okay, Ten of Swords. is Ten Swords in the back. Ten of Wands. Giving up on the burden of a betrayal. It's hard to tell exactly what that means until we clarify. Because there's all this emotion right now. Okay? So let's see what's in the mutual energy between the two of you. <laughs> Working on your chest moves, are you, Cancer? Look at you. Both of you. This is Aries energy. This emperor has a big old chess piece and they're trying to play it cool. Lots of fiery energy here and along with that magnetic and electrical energy from that magician card, it's intense, okay. Spirit is saying, keep yourself very stable. Both of you should keep yourself very stable as single people for now. But the Nine of Coins goes to the Ten of Coins. So it's really saying, you know, Spirit is saying, be really strong individually, financially, and so forth to make this come to fruition. It's also saying for now, stay single. Your outcome, the Devil card, okay. The Devil card is oftentimes the dark, it's, uh, the dark, Night of the soulmate, right? When you get the soulmate energy and the rider weight, it's very similar to the devil in the rider weight. Okay, so somebody wants to be in control here. Both of you probably want to be in control in different ways, but somebody looks like they've manipulated the other. There's, but it's a sexy devil. This is an undeniable feeling of obsession with each other. It's usually has a toxic nature to it, but you know. It is also the dark side of the soulmate. Okay, so let's take a look and see why we have, what's this message about that this person wants to rush in with or you both want to say to each other? What is the messaging about the talk that Cancer wants to have with their person? Tell us about this. What? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The devil energy. Okay, the two of you both want to talk about the things that have gone on in the past that have held the two of you back, that have held the two of you in an energy that is not healthy. Okay, tell us, give us one more card for that, please. You both want a victory. I like it. Okay, right? Because basically we can always make choices. 
Okay. So what do we have here for the Four of Swords? The doorbell's going to ring momentarily. Let's take a look and see why we have the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups. Three of Wands, the ships have arrived in the harbor. It's how you both feel. You definitely know that you're the you're the match for the other. And look at this, the star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true. I think an apology will be given. <clears throat> I really feel cancer like your person's going to apologize. They will definitely acknowledge their love for you. I definitely feel as though your person is the one who's a in this devil energy but it doesn't matter who really is the one but the devil energy is that energy you are so sweet to look at you I mean you're just really yearning for your person your person needs you very interesting reading what's the magician here for your person's bored out of their mind without you The Four of Cups reverses them feelings, the loss of you. <clears throat> like now they're not bored. Now they've just lost you. They emptied out those cups. They don't want to hold back anymore. That's in the reverse. Okay, what else do we need to know about this Magician card? Why is the Magician card here? Why is the Magician card here? The Three of Coins manifesting you back into their life. Okay, good. Okay, that's what it should be. That's what we hope it will be. And there we go. Why is the Two of Cups here for our beautiful Cancer friends? Why is the Two of Cups? Your person, why do they view you as a perfect mate? Because they view you as their soulmate. There we go, Pisces energy. Might be dealing with the Pisces. Knight of Cups energy, they want to make a proposal, they want to get back together. <clears throat> it looks like a reunion, they're tired of carrying the burden. They did something that made them feel guilty. To me, this is also the burdens of guilt. Carrying the baggage, but they have a lot of baggage. <laughs> it's a lot of baggage. They're not gonna pass a 60 pound weight limitation from the airlines. Yep. It looks as though <clears throat> they may have made you believe that there was another woman, but I'm not seeing that be the case. I would say that they were in a very bad place in their life. That's weird. Why is that Queen of Wands there? <clears throat> it really speaks to the fact that your person is a Queen of Wands and that's how they're feeling in their heart space. Very passionate about you. Ace of Cups, there we go. A new beginning in love. Okay. Your person is a bit stubborn, I would say, Cancer. Very stubborn person here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why do they see <clears throat> the situation as having been something in which they created? They feel guilty because they stabbed you in the back. Why is that? The hanged man, they couldn't make a decision. Or they made a decision, actually. They didn't think it through. That's what I'm getting. They did not think a decision through. Now they want a reconciliation with you. They have fire in their belly. My temperance card, I want to tell everybody out there who's learning tarot to keep a tarot journal because my number one card for communication is not the Page of Wands. It is the Ace of Pentacles. And the way you learn that when you're learning tarot is by keeping a journal. And I always say the temperance card for me is my number one card of reconciliation because I've journaled it. Because my experience with my clients, and I have a full-time practice, is that that's the number one reconciliation card. If that shows up, somebody's coming back. It's just never failed for me. So never say never though, right? All right. Why are you both trying to be cool, calm, and stealthy and in control? Why are you both experiencing this emperor energy? Because you don't want to be sad anymore. <clears throat> but you're not throwing caution to the winds. You haven't taken action. 
you're both kind of in this mood with each other. The Queen of Swords reversed is a little harsh. Well, betrayal is harsh, right? Okay, so the Death card reversed. <clears throat> His spirit is, is advising you not to end anything right now. The Eight of Swords, though, does say that spirit is advising you get out of your head. One of you needs to make a move here. Ace of Coins, okay. You need to make a move. Somebody is going to make a move. Spirit's advising it. I want to clarify this Devil card. I'm going to clarify the heck out of it. The hell out of it, right? Okay. Page of coins. Devil card is making a very small offer. <laughs> Why did I know that was coming? Ten of coins. The nine of coins, right? Okay. <clears throat> and the nine of coins with one coin is a ten of coins. Okay. So, not moving slowly either. Okay, so Spirit is recommending that you still move somewhat slowly, okay? I'm going to get the Wisdom of the Oracle to talk about this devil, okay? We need more information about this devil. What is the information about this devil that we need to know? We have two magicians here also, okay? Magician, magician, a clarifier, and a regular, okay? So what is about the what is it about the devil card we need to know? These are not read in the reverse. Sometimes I take them that way depending on the meaning, but the new life. Okay, so new life is milk and honey and unfinished symphony. Yay! Okay. This unfinished symphony is going to turn into the 10 of pentacles, my friends. And not slowly. <laughs> not slowly. All right, let's see why we have, I'm going to use a different deck to clarify, the Magician card twice. What is, what would your ancestors say about this Double Magician card? What would your ancestors say about the Double Magician card? What's the advice about this relationship for you, Cancer? What is the advice? Surround yourself with protective energy. Okay, Cancer, your people, your people, your ancestors are telling you that this person still is very toxic and that there's still problems here and that you need to protect yourself and that they're here to protect you. Make plans and focus. That's a warrior type energy. You're going to have to use your intellect. Well, you're very smart, so that's not a problem. See your seeds grow. Okay, I'm going to put that right here. <clears throat> so, Spirit is, you know, your ancestors are really giving you a very significant message here. This person is not somebody that they consider safe. Spirit is telling you that it'll all work out, that it'll be fine. And let's see what the wisdom is here from the High Priestess Oracle my cancer friends what about this devil card what do you need to know what wisdom do you need as a high priestess light oracle please give us information about what cancer should do about the devil what's the interpretation okay shamanic journey okay purpose attunement and vision quest Part of your journey is le learning to deal with the toxicity. It does look like there is a relationship in your past in which you may have had a history of being involved with somebody who had addictions or toxicity of some sort. It is cautioning that both of you are in this energy, that both of you have it. It's part of your journey and that you need to heal tenderness. True love and compassion, there you go. To heal the wounds of that devil energy. Okay, Cancer, send me your love and light. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you would be so kind, if you enjoyed the video, uh, it is the only way that YouTube really pushes it out there for others to see. Send me your light and love from Chicago. Thank you so much.